Hi everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today I have a birthday card for you guys. Um, we are going to be using the stamp set Balloon Adventures, which is one of my ultimate favorites uh, from the Occasions catalog. It's perfect for birthdays. Um, but I'm going to use some other um, materials as well. So I'm using the watercolor pencils, a little d designer series paper um, to create this super festive uh, birthday card. So let me go ahead and show you what we're using. Besides the Balloon Adventures, we are going to be using the Balloon Punch that coordinates with this set. Um, we're going to be using our Archival uh, Basic Black, some Dimensionals, our Fast Fuse, our Watercolor Pencils, which are here, as well as the Aqua Painter, and then some Designer Series Paper. This is um, from the Fiesta Designer Series Paper. I'll put up the right title on the screen. Um, this coordinates with the Birthday Fiesta stamp set, um, but I just love the colors in this paper, so I thought I would use that today. All right. So for our card base, I have a standard piece of Whisper White. This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have a black layer that is uh, five and a quarter by four. The designer series paper is cut to five by three and three quarters. And then we have another layer of black that is cut four by two and three quarters. And then our um, top layer is regular whisper white, and this is three and three quarters by two and a half. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some of this adhered. Let me grab my fast fuse. I will get this lined up. Okay. Um, let me grab my designer series paper. These colors are so fun and bright. And since we are having snow this week, which makes me sad, I thought I would do a bright and festive card um, to pretend we're not going to get snow. I'm done with winter. I'm, I'm ready for nice warm weather. Okay, so now I have already pre-colored um, and used the aqua painter on my piece because I wanted to give it time to dry. So I will show you the colors that I used. Let me put these in order. Um, I did Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight, Pumpkin Pie, Pacific Point, and Rich Razzleberry. And I just colored a little bit, no you know, specific pattern. And then I took the Aqua Painter and went over each of those, cleaning my Aqua Painter in between colors. And then this has dried. So you can use the regular Whisper White um, instead of the watercolor. It, it tends to kind of curl up a little bit, which you can see. But if you're adhering it, um, down, you're fine. Um, you just need to give it a little bit of time, you know, to dry. So we're going to go ahead and put our piece, my fast fuse is all over the place today, put our piece down. I'm starting with the Melon Mambo on the left. Okay. And then we are going to use the Big Sentiment from Balloon Adventures, and that's Here's to Another Year Full of Adventure. And we're going to pull out that archival black. And then I'm going to ink this up really well. Um, I have found with this large image, sometimes those L's in full give you a little bit of a problem. I am going to use my piercing mat below to give me a nice cushion since this is photopolymer. I'm going to look at that. That looks pretty good. Okay. So let me move this up, and I'm going to stamp this right over my watercolor. And I'm going to stamp it towards the right. I'm going to give this a nice press because, like I said, that full in the center sometimes doesn't like to be crisp. Okay. All right, so you can see it's not... 
um, a perfect crisp image. It could be too that my ink pad probably needs to be refilled. So I will show you a little trick that you can do. Let me close up this archival back black for a moment. I have my um, Stampin' Write black marker and I'm going to come in with the fine tip and just touch that up a little bit. See how easy? See how much better that looks just from a little touch up with the marker. So always keep in mind that those markers can help you up if you have a little snafu. So I'm going to adhere this to the front of our card on an angle. Let me get my fast fuse back in here. Okay. And I'm going to kind of let me make sure my card's straight. And then I'm going to tilt this just like that. All right, and then on a scrap piece of Melon Mambo, let me pull this aside for a moment, I'm going to stamp the balloon that has those lines, ink that up in the archival black again. And I'm going to look at my punch. You can see my big balloon is on the right-hand side, so I think I'm going to punch, or stamp rather, over here so I can line that up with the punch and easily get it out. Looks good. See that image is nice and crisp and I didn't even use my piercing mat. So sometimes that happens. Now let me slide this in and line it up just like that. And then I'm going to bring back our card. I do have some black baker's twine here. So I'm going to just cut a few inches. I'm going to tie a knot into the bottom. Just like that. Okay, then I'm going to flip my balloon over. I'm going to add a little bit of Fast Fuse. And then I'm going to lay my twine into that. Okay, and I just want this to set this way. I'm going to add a couple dimensionals just to give us some dimension. I guess it wants three since I got two when I picked it up. Okay, and then I'm just going to use that to cover that corner, and then I'm going to let the twine dangle just the way it is. All right, and let me just line this up, and we'll give it a nice crease. Give it my bone folder. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that fun? It's just nice and bright. I love how the the string on the balloon, you know, isn't tacked down. It can have the watercoloring too. It's just a nice background. Um, very simple to create and then use a little bit of your black to make it pop. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video, guys. Um, as always, if you'd like to purchase any of the products in today's video, just visit my online store. And I look forward to being back with you real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.